Hey guys, I am back. I uh, owe some of you an apology. In fact, all of you uh, that have subscribed to my videos, I have not posted in a very long time. Uh, I started to realize this spring uh, the amount of time that it takes to produce decent quality videos and record them. And my time spent as an agronomist uh, almost exceeded the number of hours in a day. So I had a very busy spring, which was good. Um, I like staying busy, but uh, uh, I've learned a little bit better how to manage my time. Um, it's always a, a challenge to prioritize uh, the things to do in a day, you know, and also to have that somewhat of a balance between uh, work and uh, the rest of your life like taking showers and brushing teeth and things like that. There's some days there isn't even much time for that. But uh, no, I, I do enjoy making these videos. I enjoy the comments that you guys leave. And uh, no, I, I want them to be, uh, be helpful. I want uh, to be able to show uh, people some of the uh, challenges I deal with, but also the rewards of uh, being able to help people and find uh, better ways to be more productive out there in the field. Uh, efficiency and, uh, um, and bringing better yields are, are two really important concepts to me. So, um, so thank you all for subscribing uh, to my YouTube site. Thank you for watching the videos and thank you for your comments. Uh, some of the videos I plan on taking and uploading the next few days are going to deal with uh, activities going on this fall. Uh, most of the combines are still running. I guess a few people might be done by now. Uh, it's uh, October 30th today. It's 40 degrees outside. The soil temperature is fit for anhydrous to go on. Um, there's uh, some interesting comments regarding anhydrous as a form of nitrogen fertilizer and I uh, really look forward to addressing that. Um, and showing you what I've seen and what I've learned over the past couple of years. I've not always been a fan of anhydrous. Uh, uh, I, uh, you know, listen to my peers and, and you know, of course, uh, learned about nitrogen a little bit in school, but uh, my perspective has changed on anhydrous a little bit uh, from observations, uh, being out in the field, looking at nitrogen uptake in plants, uh, going through a couple of growing seasons of working with anhydrous now with different conditions. So. Um, I look forward to sharing that with you. But uh, please feel free to uh, comment on what you'd like to see. You know, I, I don't spend a whole lot of time making these videos. Uh, like right now, I'm driving uh, between a couple farms and just turn the video camera on. But uh, yeah, you know, I'd like to do some stuff with tillage, um, compaction. So, compaction is a, a pretty big deal uh, that I think we can fix without. Uh, too much extra cost. Um, soil tilt, just uh, the, the texture of the soil and getting the soil aggregates to work really well uh, to feed the crop throughout the year. Uh, drainage is a big thing, so uh, sometimes we go and fix one problem and create another problem for ourselves. So we just want to, I want to help guys uh, evaluate um, the success of their tillage operations and planting operations fertilizer, chemical, and the whole works. So comment about what you'd like to see. I'll try to uh, specifically make videos uh, with some of those subjects and uh, so on and so forth. Um, if you do want to, if I don't respond to a comment, I, I'm going to try to keep up on all of them, but uh, you can also feel free to send me an email. My email address is uh, wiagronomist at gmail.com. So uh, um, feel free to contact me on there. By no means uh, do I claim to be the most expert agronomist in the state of Wisconsin. I picked the name because I thought it was kind of cool and uh, easy to remember, but uh, I'm always looking to learn. And uh, I learned from other good agronomists in the state and other states. Um, and I always want to be able to pick up information that I can share to my customers and. Uh, the guys that I work with that depend on me for some answers to the questions they have. So, well, Wisconsin Agronomist is my email address, um, 
and I, I do love talking with uh, the people who watch these videos so feel free to do that and uh, we'll, uh, we'll keep in touch. So um, I don't do Instagram much, I do Snapchat a little bit. Uh, my iPad's set up with my Wisconsin Agronomist Snapchat account so every once in a while when I remember I'll go on there and check things out. Occasionally I'll send Snapchats out. So. Uh, that'll let you know about videos. I'm on uh, Facebook, Wisconsin Agronomist, um, if, you go, if you're on Facebook. So you can follow me on there. But uh, anyway, I'll try not to be long-winded in these. I just want to show you what's going on. I don't know if you can see out the window here, but uh, um, you can see some of the field conditions. Uh, corn's taken off here already. And as you can see, so a lot of good opportunity for anhydrous to go on um, as well as fall P and K and I'll do a video here of the benefits of getting your potash and phosphorus uh, in the soil. Uh, I think we got a cornfield up here if you guys want to see. Most of the corn has been running around 20% uh, up to 23-24%. Uh, we typically plant anywhere from 98 to 112, 113 day corn here. But uh, for the most part, corn is running pretty well. Um, comparable to last year, in a lot of areas, some areas are uh, around that 10, 15 bushel under last year. But uh, last year, the poor soils, the lower fertility soils, uh, um, did a lot better than this year. Um, I can tell a big uh, difference on nitrogen plants, uh, like late corn plants especially, like late season nitrogen, and uh, um, not, a, not all the uh, corn got the late season nitrogen needed up here. So, Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, keep in touch guys. Bye.